Welcome to White Line Fever Kicks. We're at Lake Hunt Oval where the grand finals of the New South Wales Cup have just been decided. It's Mounties versus Illawarra, but let's get into our program and our six points from the second week of the NRL finals. And can we have more games like Friday night's North Queensland Brisbane Classic? NRL Chief Executive Todd Greenberg certainly seems to think so in this interview with the ABC over the weekend. For us to get the spectacle we got last night, whether it's the performance of players, the performance of match officials, it takes everyone to buy into that. And what I saw last night from players was a huge amount of respect from each other to, to the opposition. And what goes with that is a lack of what I think is real niggle in the play the ball, a lack of uh, players running at referees to question decisions. A few hours after that game, we had perhaps the harshest sim bidding I've ever seen with Warrington Stefan Ratchford given a spell in a game against Wigan. His side needed only to win to clinch the league leader's shield. It was from the block, but Stefan Ratchford in the sim bid. Amazingly, Warrington took control of the match with only 12 men, and then Wigan snatched victory when they, in turn, were reduced to 12 by the dismissal of Ben Flower. Two incredible matches overnight on Friday. On Saturday night, we saw the Viking clap once more as Canberra took on Penrith, and you'll see a familiar face in the Panthers' box, former referee Luke Phillips, who has apparently been advising the team at training on the peculiarities of each whistleblower and how to get the right result from dealing with them. Sadly, the intelligence couldn't save the Panthers' season. And the Raiders' 22-12 win earned hooker Josh Hodgson, who played despite an ankle injury and a virus, uh, to earn this tribute from coach Ricky Stewart. He's a tough pom. No two ways about it. While Andrew Fafita has been in trouble for inscriptions on his wrist strapping, Jamie Soward was happy to show off the words family and have fun on his as London caused a massive upset beating Salford 1916. And Canada have joined the United States in the bid to host the 2021 World Cup, a development that has been welcomed by Canadian national skipper Matt Wiles. The more exposure this sport can get in Canada, uh, the quicker it'll grow. Rugby league is a sport that I think Canadians will catch on to very quickly. And getting uh, the biggest stage within the sport, the World Cup, to Canada would accelerate the growth immensely. That's all for this week. Don't forget to download the White Line Fever podcast on iTunes and like League HQ1 on Twitter and League HQ on Facebook. See you next week.